Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be discussing some of the larger rule changes that are coming to Football Canada's non-contact rulebook, specifically talking about flag football. Now, the point of this video is to just give some context as to why some of these rule changes are being implemented. For a full list of changes, please check out Football Canada's website. So first up, I want to talk about the direction of flag football in Canada, keeping in mind that the goals for youth and adults are quite different. You know, at the youth level, the focus is still on fun, skill development, and just being a great low resource sport that a lot of families can get into. Where on the adult side, the focus is either on competition or just being a low commitment recreational activity. Now currently, we are using those same concepts we are using for the youth divisions in our competitive divisions, and if we want international success, we have to refine our focus. And that can start with some rule adjustments. Now, the rules that are being set forward are a good combination between the international rules as well as being uniquely Canadian. This will allow us to be competitive on the world stage while also having a lot of flexibility and strategy and creativity. Now to start things off, at all levels of play, offenses will now be able to do a fake handoff in the no-run zone, thus eliminating the seven seconds they have to throw the ball. We felt that by implementing this rule, it will allow for greater strategy and flexibility in our gameplay. I'll tell you what I mean. So when an offense fakes a handoff behind the line of scrimmage, no matter where they are on the field, it eliminates the seven seconds they have to get rid of the ball. Now that's good for the offense. However, as soon as they do that, a defensive player, no matter where they lined up, can now rush the quarterback. So that means, in theory, if a defender is just one yard off the line of scrimmage and a fake handoff occurs, they can now rush the quarterback. Ideally, this will create more creative, on-the-fly thinking from both our coaches and players. Not only do we want our players to be athletes, we want them to be smart athletes as well. And this rule being implemented will allow our players and coaches to flex their brain muscles. Moving on, at the U20 and adult levels, we will be removing the need for handoffs to be lateral or behind and allowing handoffs to take place in front of the quarterback as long as it's still behind the line of scrimmage. Now, this rule is a lot more interlined with international rules and this should open up some creativity in how offenses use motion and allow for some creative avenues to be explored. Similar to the last rule, at the U20 and adult levels, Forward passes now do not have to cross the line of scrimmage to be considered legal, keeping in mind that only one forward pass is allowed per play. This should open up plays like screen passes and shuffle passes that occur behind the line of scrimmage. Now the reason we are not implementing this rule at the youth level is because we want our young quarterbacks to confidently be able to throw the ball beyond the line of scrimmage before they start looking behind it. And the current rule that's in place is great for that skill development. In the adult leagues, as mentioned earlier, the focus of those leagues is just less on skill development, so we want our rules to line up more with international rules. Last but not least, at all levels of play, the play clock will now be reduced to 20 seconds from 30 seconds. Now, if you are in a league with divisions around U12 and under, I assume you'll be keeping the 30 seconds. However, when it comes to regionals and nationals for U16 and CFFL, the play clock now will be just 20 seconds. Now, the reason for this change is simply due to the development of the sport. Flag football isn't as new anymore, and our teams don't need as much time to prepare. Also, flag football is a fast-paced game, and the only time the play clock reached 30 at the higher and competitive levels was just to waste time. And I don't know about you, but I like to see more exciting games, and waiting out a play clock just is not very exciting. Well, those are some of the big rule changes that we have in store for flag football. Again, please check the rulebook to see a full list of all the changes. The game's still going to look very similar to how it does now. We just want to keep improving upon this game that we all love. Now please, let us know what you think about these changes. We want to have an open dialogue about these changes because at the end of the day, we want to just keep adjusting this sport until it's the best version of itself that it can be. Thanks for watching.